Listen on, listen on. This is the truth of it. Fighting leads to killing, and killing gets to warring, and that was damn near the death of us all. Comic skate. Look at us now, busted up, and everybody's talking about what we've learned. Now, when geeks get to fighting, it happens here, and it finishes here. Two men enter. One man leaves. And now I've got two men, two men with a gut full of fear. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dying time's here. All righty, kitties. So what we've got for you here, we have Nightwolf Plays. Does he run a comics book, uh, comic book YouTube channel? Does he run a gaming channel? Don't know. He doesn't know. Nope, I have no clue. And of course, there you go. And we've got Crumble Point all the way from Scotland, two lands of the rain. Crumble Point with his interesting and his intelligent videos with a voice and an accent that makes people go, sorry, what? Uh, hello, I am... Crumple Point, I am damp, and I am happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> All righty, and Nightwolf, say hey, man. Hello, and welcome to the Thunderdome, everybody. And helping me judge this round, of course, we have Dalton. Say hey, guy, what's Hello, up? gentlemen, ladies. All right, and of course, the captain himself, Captain Frugal. Hello, everybody. This is Captain Frugal reporting for duty. Yes, what's going on here is comic book Thunderdome. We put geek against geek. We've got seven questions. It's the first to four. And uh, basically, it's all about the argument, not about the answer. So if I uh, say, I say, what's the best comic book in the world? And one of them says America. It doesn't matter what they say. It matters how well they can argue it. Question number one. What is the worst superhero movie or comic book movie? Excuse me. What is the best or worst comic? I can't even answer. ask the question. <laughs> <Not gonna ask. laughs> what are the worst? What? Fuck. <laughs> What's the worst comic I'll, book I'll, movie I'll, ever made? I'll, I'll wait for you to get your sentence structure correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Um, what's the worst comic book movie ever made? Crumple Point? Start the show. Is this a statement or am I uh, just giving the name? You're, the make your, you're making your opening statement what you chose in your opening statement of why you chose it. Right. My opening statement is thus the worst comic book movie ever made is Kick Ass, which will be a controversial statement, but. There are so many bad comic book movies. You know, you've got the old 90s Thor or Captain America, and you've got this, the 70s versions and the, the 60s Spider-Man. You could argue all day over what the worst one is, right? But I thought a score multiplier for what makes it a worse movie is how well-received it is when it shouldn't have been. So if it's perceived to be a good movie but was actually really bad, that makes it worse than a movie that everybody agrees sucked. So... I've chosen Kick-Ass to go up against Nightwolf because it was marketed as a comedy, but it wasn't funny. They took the Kick-Ass story and tried to make it into super bad. They horrendously underused the acting talent that they had in the movie. I mean, they put Mark Strong in as like one of the most boring characters they could have possibly thought of. And then they, they put Nicolas Cage in as the infamous and formidable Big Daddy, but then didn't use him. Uh, you know, for more than what ten minutes of the movie, and yeah, the 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 jokes didn't land, and the the action was pretty boring, except for again, the big daddy scenes. And because of those scenes, I know they knew how to make a good movie, and they deliberately didn't on purpose. So, what gives? Okay, that is my opening Night statement. Wolf. Night Wolf, what was the one you picked, and why? I picked Catwoman. One, because it was one of the worst movies that I had ever seen. Let's let's just be completely honest. They changed so much out of the character. There was nothing related to Catwoman in it. I believe people have even made the statement that you can't even call it a Catwoman movie because they changed way too much. And, I mean, sure, maybe Kick-Ass is a bad movie. That could be true. But, um... People actually ended up liking it. And even people have mentioned, like, some of the Batman movies are, are bad, like Batman and Robin. But at least you can have fun with it. Can you say that you have fun with Catwoman? I think the answer is no. And fight. Tear down the other persons and build yours up. Well, I'm just going to open it up and say at least we can all agree Catwoman was a bad movie. But Kick-Ass was a terrible movie that keeps getting credit for being a good movie when it wasn't. And that makes it worse than Catwoman, because at least Catwoman is honestly bad. 
Well, that's a fair point. Uh, unfortunately, I've never watched Kick-Ass, so I don't know if I can even make a proper argument against the film on whether it's good or bad, except for maybe Jim Carrey's bad performance in Kick-Ass 2. But at that's an interesting point. It did get a sequel. So That's another it reason it deserves to be on the chopping block. It didn't deserve that sequel. <laughs> probably not. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to completely lose this argument because I'm woefully underprepared and i don't no 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 know. don't don't say just just back up yours and fight his you don't don't worry about that oh that's a good point i'm sorry i mean okay uh. if you can't attack his then you make it because crumble point's sitting there quiet while you talk so you uh can build up a good defense for yours okay they, they did a, they did another thing with kick ass which is horribly unforgivable in that they marketed it to normies and they brought in a massive influx of normies but they weren't interested in comics because they were watching a normie movie and then when they saw the comics they ran away again and it was just a mess because it was all these people who watched Juno and things like that and super bad they marketed it to them when Kickass was actually you know it was Mark Miller it was Edge Lord stuff and they marketed it as this teen comedy it was this disgusting whereas at least Halle Berry in tight leather and a bullwhip, like, you know, at least there's something there. Is there really something there, though? Is there really any redeeming quality to Catwoman? Can we say that there's any redeeming quality for Kick-Ass, though, is my question. I think that there's probably... you Because you said it yourself that there are scenes with Big Daddy that are good. And if that's the case, at least there is something good to be said about it. Halle Berry in leather is not good enough to warrant saying that Catwoman has any redeeming qualities whatsoever. If we look at the print history of Catwoman, in print, Catwoman has always sucked unless but, she has been in specific stories. But and we're not talking about comics, we're talking Therefore, about the adaption was faithful because the movie also sucked, much like her uh, when she gets her own title. So it's a faithful adaption, unlike Kick-Ass, <laughs> which was not grimy enough, it was not gritty enough. So it was an unfaithful adaption, unlike Catwoman, which was faithful in that it was bad. I'll call time. Brugal, what'd you think of those two arguments? The, they're warming up. <laughs> Let's call it, that the warm-up round. You and Division also. That first round is always hard, and the more you get, the further you go down, it gets a lot easier. Yeah, the further you dig into the mud, the better it gets. Yeah. Uh, are you asking me to judge it? Or, or yeah, what what was your thoughts about the argument? What what do you think they said that you liked? They didn't you didn't like what resonated with you and so forth? All right, uh, Crumble Point first started uh, with trying to paint the picture, and I do tend to find that as effective uh, debate strategy. Mm -hmm. You paint a picture, and then you use that to build off of it. Unfortunately, though, he he built a good setup, but really didn't do a great you know jump from that. He did okay. I was hoping to really hammer it home. A little bit more on particulars of why it failed the franchise even though it looked good in people's eyes and they give it credit now he did hit it several times but the movie gets credit where it should so i give him a lot of a lot of somebody's got something playing in the background <laughs> that was me sorry sorry that was me i i, I screwed up All right, sorry no keep going, so, uh, keep going. Uh, shameless so anyway, promotion started a little shaky there um and then one point he did mention is he said they advertised it as a comedy and it utterly failed at that respect. That was a good point. Uh, he also hit on the actors being wasted talent. And so that, that's mm -hmm. a good point too. Uh, poor humor he mentioned several times. Boring action. Uh, and ultimately his big hit he kept hitting is it didn't deserve the credit. Now, whereas the opposing with Catwoman, he just, you know, utterly was awful. Uh, bad characters, even Halle Berry, Berry and... Halle Berry, or whatever her name is, <laughs> and Leather didn't save the movie. That was nice. Uh, but ultimately, he failed on the counter. Uh, you know, he did bring one good point, though, that Kick-Ass got a sequel. That, I thought that was a good hit. Yeah, I, I agree. He, I, I heard that as well. Uh, what I got was, uh, I thought, yeah, once again, I thought Nightwolf came out of the freaking gate. Uh, he definitely landed the first punch because... When Crumble Point was going and talking about his making his opening statement, he said the same thing four times. Right. The acting was bad. Then he, he added in that the humor was bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you say, okay, they didn't underuse the, they, they underused the actors. He brought up Mark Strong, but then Nick Cage, it all falls under bad acting. Uh, then I, I think that really Nightwolf came out of the gate and just bam, 
It was the worst he's ever seen. It was, uh, there's nothing Catwoman in it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kick ass. His, he's heard that it was good. Catwoman wasn't fun. Um, but in the end, I, I do agree that Nightwolf just kind of teetered out. Uh, it was like, <laughs> you, right. you did, man. It's like, I, I have nothing. Back. So instead of reinforcing what you were saying, even though you did say it had no re redeemable qualities, but, and here's the thing, Crumble Point even agreed that there were good qualities to kick ass because he even said right. the scenes with Big Daddy were good. This is not a right, point. There was no that, good scenes in Catwoman. In Catwoman, and they both agreed on that. Right. So personally, based on that, I have to go Nightwolf. The big hit with me was the the sequel hit. When you hit him that this movie was not even good enough to get a sequel, and Kick Ass did. That spoke wonders right there. So I had to give this one the Nightwolf as well. All righty, and so uh, Dalton gets to sit back in a little bit more and listen to the <laughs> fight. Is first point goes to Nightwolf. All right. Well, nobody's seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly didn't. Well, actually, I would have said crumple, but my perspective doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> uh, well, in in the end, it would have gone to him. In, in the end, it would have gone to uh, uh, Nightwolf, is because we would have eventually made it over to uh, to Captain Frugal. But why would you? Why would you have given the point to Crumple? Well, for one, for one thing, I generally tend to agree with the premise that. Something being seen as good when it's not is more detrimental than something being universally acknowledged as bad. That and particular, I, uh, okay, that, that yeah, argument resonated I, with you, huh? And I also um, think that Nightwolf, and this is mostly due to the fact that it was the first point and everybody gets some slack when it's the first point, but he did that thing that I hate because the philosophical part of my brain goes off when you concede ground while you're while you're uh, <laughs> arguing the point, which you never but both ever of them supposed to do, <laughs> and I admit that I'm being OCD about it, but I I went through three years of being a philosophy major, and it wasn't for yeah. nothing. So, well, well, the thing is, is both of them conceded, but both of them ended up conceding that there were good parts of. Uh, there were good parts of Kick-Ass. So there you go, gang. What do you think? Crumple Point versus Nightwolf. Uh, worst b worst movie comic. God dang, I really can't say that phrase. Worst comic book movie of all time. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like and share. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And make sure that those notifications are on. And you ring that bell. Now, if you don't mind helping out the channel, this is the way I'm trying to make a living. Just go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi. The link is in the description below. And drop a dollar in the tip jar there. Or you could commission a video at Ko-Fi. Just, uh, once again, link's in the description below. Pick whatever subject, whatever topic you want. And we'll get that video out to you ASAP. And if you want it to be on this channel, by all means, say so. Just say, hey, put this on the Old Man Comics and not on I Love Comics. And... I will, uh, I will do that. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.